Hi, hello, excellent slides here. We create excellent presentations. Before we even start, please like this video and subscribe our channel if you want more valuable content like this one. All right, in this video, I will teach you how to use grids and guides in PowerPoint. All right, so let's get started. If you have your PowerPoint opened and if you have any slide, like in my situation, you have to right click. And now, as you can see, this window pop up. So here you have grid and guides and this arrow. So hover on this arrow and the next window pop up, right? And here you can turn on guides, smart guides, and grid lines. Let's start with guides. So let's make sure that it is checked. As you can see, these two guides has pop up. So if you don't want these to exist still, just click right on them and click delete if you want to delete them. But all right, these two guides are useful because they are centered in the middle of this slide, as you can see. And yeah, if you would like to create any shape that is a half of the width of this slide, you can use this guide. All right, how to add some new, some more guides. You have to also right click, grid and guides, and just add vertical guide or add horizontal guide. All right, let's take horizontal guide. And as you can see, the second guide has pop up, right? So now if you hover on any guide, you can move it. You have to just press your left mouse click. And as you can see now I am moving these guides as I want, right? You can also right click on them and here you can change color, some of these colors, for example, this Turkish, yeah, but usually you will be using only, only gray or white if you have darker background. What you can do more, you can of course delete this guide if you don't want it to be still. All right, so what is what are smart guides? Let me show you. If I create at least two shapes, okay, that's our first shape. And let's select the second shape. Now, as you can see, if I move any of these shapes, these red guides pop up, right? These are smart guides and they, you know, here, for example, here. And they are useful because they help us align and arrange objects, right? So I wouldn't recommend to turn it off, but if you want and if you have to turn it off, just right click, grid and guides and just uncheck it, right? And now, as you can see, smart guides are not popping up, right? Let me turn it off, turn it on. All right. and. You may wonder what what is grid. So let's check it. Grid lines. As you can see, that's a little bit similar to guides, but these are not lines, but just rectangles, right? I mean squares. Yeah, they also help us to align and to arrange objects. And you may wonder how to adjust this grid. That's really simple. You have to right click on your slide. And in this situation, do not hover on this arrow, but just click grid and guides. Just click it. And as you can see, now grid and guides window has pop up. And you have some of these options. You can snap objects to grid. Yes, I think I would like to, to use it. And here 
you have grid settings. Spacing, for example, five grids per centimeter, but you can adjust it or just select one of these presets or just select yourself by custom. Here you can define centimeters. Here you can display grid on screen and these two options guide settings. The first one is display drawing guides on screen and the second one display smart guides when shapes are aligned. So you can also turn these options on or turn these options off. And the last option is to, to set as default. So if you are using most of the times um, some preset of grid, you can set it, it as default. So you will save time. All right. What's, what's more? I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything in uh, this video about grids and guides in PowerPoint. In my opinion, I personally, I don't use grids, but I use guidelines quite often. So yeah, because they are really useful. If you'd like to, let's say, um, set some margins or you know, just align and arrange objects in a cool way to be elegant and cool presentation. I think it will be really useful tool for you. So if you like this tutorial, please like this video below. Subscribe our channel if you want more valuable content like that. If you, if you would like to learn more about presentation design and PowerPoint. Have a great day and lead a happy life. Excellent slides.